Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into your reading. <sighs> okay, what's going on with ancestors, angels, and ancient gods? Please give me clear and concise messages for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life at this time. What love messages do we have for Sagittarius at this time? Okay, what is going on in Sagittarius's love life? Ooh, you've made an appearance, darling. And in a lovely way, I must say. Ooh, okay, Six of Cups. Okay, so for some of you, this could be uh, past situations resurfacing or someone from your past coming back to you. Okay, and this is, yes, you, Queen of Wands, Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, this is your reading, so this is your energy. So you may be going back to someone else or someone may be coming back to you. Okay, and this is Ten of Cups. You will have fulfillment, happiness, and you're happily ever after. Okay, so fantastic. Okay, so let's get some messages here about this person from your past. Let's see. Now, this could be somebody, if this is not an old flame, this could be somebody that you've uh, known from your childhood or uh, your younger days, depending on what stage of life you're in. Okay. And I'm, I'm seeing here, you see this little cat playing like peekaboo here? This could be somebody that even though you haven't been in touch or maybe you've just been friends with for a long time, they've always had their eye on you, okay? And I'm, I'm also being told that like with this person, you feel safe and you feel like home because you've had such a, for some of you, this is someone you're friends with that you've had such a good friendship with that you've known for such a long time. You feel safe and comfortable with them, okay? And for others, this could still be the same messages just coming from an old flame, okay? Not all things end on a bad note, so this could be something that just, you know, ended for whatever reason, or maybe you guys, because you were young, didn't really pursue it. Um, you just kind of didn't take it seriously, went your separate ways, and now it's an opportunity to come back around to benefit you both. Okay, so let's see, what messages do we have here for Sagittarius? Spontaneity. Okay, so this person may be very spontaneous or it could just simply be you're going to spontaneously bump into each other. Um, it could even be like on social media where it's like, you know, you're just scrolling through and how sometimes Facebook, for example, will be like, oh, do you know these people? And it's like, yeah, all well, well, right, for shits and giggles, let's scroll through and see. And then you're like, oh, wow, I haven't seen this person in a while. Let me, boop, say hello, see how you're doing. So it could be something like that, that you're reaching out to this person. Just something spontaneous, or it could be reverse them to you, okay? Or you may just be, you know, somewhere and run into each other, and it's like, hey, you, how you been? Okay, so loyalty. So there's a lot of loyalty with this person as well. Beautiful. Who doesn't like loyalty in a relationship or respect? Come on, for real. This is great. And trust. What the fuck? This is fantastic. You got trust. You got respect. You got loyalty. Nice. That's the triple threat right there. Like, if, all right, if you're good looking, bonus. But I think we it's safe to say whether you're male or female, if you have respect, loyalty, and trust, 
you can tolerate anything else. <laughs> okay. Let's get some letters here. Let's see what's what's going on. Okay. What is going on here for Sagittarius? Let's get some letters, person, place, or thing to help them figure out who is this delightful human being. This trustworthy, loyal. What was the other one? Trustworthy, loyal, and respectful. How dare I forget that? Respectful creature. Okay, I think we got enough letters there. Let's see. So we have the letter L. I'm hearing lovely. Also love. So someone may say, oh, hi, love. How are you? Or, oh, this person is lovely. Or their last name or middle of name or something could have something with love in it. Also person, place, or thing, it could always be um, uh, like a street name, company name, initial, J-L. E R. I'm getting somebody may have a jet. I'm also hearing Jeter. Somebody may have been like a Jeter fan. Could be jet Derek Jeter. Who knows? Um, I'm getting Louisiana and Georgia here. And why? I'm also seeing Jerry. Also, it could be in a year. Or you haven't seen this person in a year. Okay. I'm also seeing Jay. Okay, so I'm also getting like... Eve Saint Laurent, so they might uh, wear that label. I'm also getting Juniper and Leslie. Okay, so we have Y L G J E R, however, that resonates with you guys. Okay, so now let's see which cards shall I pull. Okay, I'm actually going to go to the crystal deck. Let's see what other messages do we have for you, Sagittarius, because this is beautiful. One more shuffle. Okay. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, so we have empowerment. So, of course, you empower one another. Well, with trust, loyalty, and um, respect, how could you not empower one another? And very happy together. Very, very happy. And we have Joy spelled down here, and we have J-Y here. So this person's name could even be Joy. I'm also... Um, actually, let me just... I'm going to pull these cards. Let's see before I say anything. I'm getting Glaslow. I think that's Germany. Okay, it's not as if you need anyone. So I'm feeling with this, it says here on the back, for as long as you wish to keep them in your life, whoever they may be, understanding them as opposed to changing them, will wildly improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life. So I feel like you're not trying to change anybody. You know, you're at that point that it's like you don't, it's not as if you need anyone. So it's like with this person specifically, you don't need to be together. You want to be together. You want to have this connection. It's not because you need to, you know, and that's actually a very beautiful thing. Okay. So actually, let me go to the Zodiac, Astrology cards. Okay, let's see what other messages do we have for you. Let's see if we can get some signs here. What other energies do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, that's 
That's way too many. Uh, take those three though. Okay, because these two flipped and that one was I and me. So we have Gemini. The energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. So you may be dealing with a Gemini or they'll just have that energy. Then we have the seventh house. This area of your life is about long-term significant partners, romantic business or family. Yes, that's exactly what this is about. And then we have Leo. The energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so let's see. What door does the universe want you to go through at this time, Sagittarius? Your final message to close this reading out. Okay, so you got two doors from the universe. It's door number one. Okay, this is Jude's song, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases. You can find peace within the strangest of places. And door number two, a moment's joy. Sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. Beautiful. Okay, so those are your messages, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. Check the description box down below if you'd like to hear um, some more of the mantras from the guy I listened to. Amazing. I've been listening to him for years. I'm not getting paid to say this. I just... Um, back up his work from my own experience so I would like to share it with you guys um, also if you'd like to donate to the channel gift the channel I have those links down below below in the description box as well as if you'd like a private reading you can go to zemathumi.com okay peace and love I will see you guys soon stay safe